So you might be having these weird issues on your Android phone, or for some reason there are random lines going through your Android device. Now you may see that on some Android phones like this one, you may not be having any sort of issues, but on some other ones you may be having some weird lines going across, and this can be a really really weird thing. So first of all, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and try restarting your phone. So find the buttons that you normally would click on to actually restart your device. So on you know, most Android phones, you just hold down the power button or you hold down the power button and the side button at the same time. So you hold on these two buttons and typically you should be able to go ahead and restart your device. And what you're going to want to do there is you're going to want to go ahead and just restart your phone as you normally would. So restart your device and that could very well end up fixing the problem. Now it's very hard to do it on this big phone, which is really annoying. But restart your device and that could very well end up fixing the problem. Now, if it is actually a hardware defect, meaning that this is a phone that actually you dropped or you broke or something along those lines, well, that is going to be a little bit of a harder task to kind of deal with because if this is a phone that actually has those types of issues, there's really not that much you can do. I mean, it's, you're just going to have to go through and actually repair it yourself or either repair it via Samsung. So keep that in mind in that specific situation as well. Now, another thing you're going to want to try doing is seeing if you can actually update your Android phone. So make your way over to your system settings of your Android phone, scroll down until you see software update, which is right here. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to go and click on download and install. And you basically want to download and install the latest update available on your Samsung device. So go ahead and find your Samsung phone like this. Go ahead and update your phone. And chances are, if there's an update available, that might be all you're going to have to do. And that's probably what I'd recommend doing in this specific situation as well. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your phone once more or try doing a couple other things as well. But those are basically the main ways to go and fix this problem. And that's probably how I'd recommend fixing it for you as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.